Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Gloria Linda Diaz and today I'm going to be showing a little review on the Vivitar sound mixer that I picked up at Walmart for only $30. Now I typically like to use a sound mixer like this. This is the Milano Caster E2 and that was $120 on Amazon but you can find it for like 100 sometimes. Um, and this is $30. So I do have a video on that one um, if you want to watch it. But let's concentrate on this one and see what this one can do. Right now, the audio that you're hearing is coming from the Vivitar sound mixer. And let's see what this has to offer. I tried to press a button. Hold on. Okay, let's dive right in. Okay, so um, I had my headphones on, obviously, and I have a microphone connected to the Vivitar. Um, those are the two things that do not come included that you're going to need to purchase on your own. I have this little miniature condenser microphone I got off of Amazon for like $19. And it has, the end of it is a... 3.5 millimeter audio jack. That's what's going into the Vivitar right now. And so those two things you're going to need to have um, on to supply on your own. So what comes in the box is, of course, this mixer. But also comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable. A US, I mean, a audio 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable, which I'm using right now. I'm actually recording off of my phone. I have the USB-C cable on my Android phone. And then this is connected to the Vivitar on the back. Right there where it has the little pictures of the screens. Right here. That is where it, it also gets its power from. So... You don't need any batteries. It's getting its power from the phone right now. So let's look further into um, what this thing can do and how it sounds. Already? See you in a bit. Okay, this thing does have a, quite a few buttons. Not too, too many, but it does have some. Um, this is going to be right here. As you can see, this is going to be your volume for your headphones. So. Um, however loud you want to have your headphones. As you can see, the meter for the headphones is going down right here in the little meter screen. And now I'm raising it back up. And then this is for your mic, this knob. So if we turn it down, the mic gets lower and lower and lower and lower. And then we raise it back up and it gets higher and higher and higher. Okay, so this knob right here is going to be how loud your um, audio gets sent to your phone or to computer. So that's what this knob is for. This knob right here is if you have a, with this cable, if you have it connected to a tablet or another phone, and you want to put some music in via this input, you can absolutely do that. And you can control how loud the music coming out of that will sound. I don't have anything connected to it right now. So um, let's take a look at the knobs. So this is for your highs, mids, and lows. And these do feel have a little bit of resistance on them not too bad and this effect right here if once you turn on the effect you can hear my voice is changing and if I want to add some reverb you can hear my voice is changing and you can hear more reverb let's put the reverb at 50% and the effect at 50%. And let's bring it back 
down. So if I put effect down, you cannot hear any reverb. So this effect knob has to be pulled up. Okay, so here are all the sounds. These right here are all the sounds that it comes with. I'm gonna play a few and um, let you know what the symbols on them mean. So right here, it says custom sound. I believe this is about 10 seconds. You hold it down and then it, you start recording on your custom sound. Like I said, I believe this is 10 seconds. And then you hold it down. Okay. Okay. Um, so that was about a 10 second clip, I believe. Um, so as you can see, they have either a line or a dot. So the line is where you hold it. And the dot is just one time tap. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Well, let me raise up the volume. So this one says buzzer. This one says car horn. This one says sad trombone. <laughs> that one. Um, this one says clapping. Rim shot, <laughs> laughter. <laughs> that one to me sounds a little disturbing. <laughs> Booing. <laughs> Scream. This is going to be loud. <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> Okay, so this are kind of self-explanatory. This is mutes all. And now you can hear me again. This is for voiceover. This is mute, you tap it twice. FX off, tap it twice. Shift voice higher, tap it twice. Now my voice is higher. And shift voice lower. It actually means uh, there's two. Uh, so you tap it once. And your voice gets higher. And higher. And to put a lower voice, you tap it once. Lower voice. Lower voice. And this is a uh, music vocal council. I haven't, if you know what that means, let me know in the comments. I haven't really uh, played around with this one. And here is for your Bluetooth. So this does have Bluetooth, which is pretty awesome for it only being $30. You can connect a Bluetooth device. And um, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, this is the sound mixer. And let me show you the ports on the back. Okay, so this is what I have connected to the other end of my phone, and then it's connecting to here and powering it on. This is for this cable, your audio. And then this is uh, for, you have two headphone ports, and then you have three mic inputs. You have two 3.5 millimeter mic input, and I believe this is a fourth mic input. and um, this would be like your main mic input. But um, yeah, this is how it looks in the back. And turn it around. And you know, for $30, I think this is a pretty good buy. Like if you want to play around with it, like there's a lot of little options that it has. I like how it has um, the highs, mids, and lows, and the reverb. I like how it has its own little effects already, like 
the sad trombone, the crickets, you know, this is overall is a nice, cute little device. And it's only $30 and you can find it at Walmart. Yeah, guys, so that's it for the Vivitar sound mixer. I do recommend you pick one up if you would like to, if it's something that you're interested in. I think it sounds pretty good. Um, now, compared to the Moana caster, I mean, there are differences, obviously. Um, and it is an expenser, uh, expenser, more expensive product. Um, but you do get a lot more in the Moana caster E2. But you do get a lot in this little Vivitar a machine. So I would recommend you pick it up if you are interested. Thank you for watching my video guys. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.